In this video, we will talk about materials, textures and mapping in Blender. In the previous video, we saw how we can apply textures and images and procedural maps using the shader editor in Blender to guide the effect with the material. So for example, here we decided where the material should be transparent or not, or where it should be emissive or not. And we also use displacement. So we learned how to manage and distribute the effects using textures. And we also saw how we can use the alpha channel in PNG images or the alpha channel using a separate image file. So in this video, we will continue to talk about uh, materials and especially about mapping. So we're going to continue from the previous lesson where we applied the material here on this wall and also using the displacement. Now, displacement is one effect that needs UV mapping in complex cases like this. But UV mapping is also useful when you need to export, for example, in a video game. So you need to have everything nice and uh, mapped in a square image, and also for many other reasons. Now, we're going to start with a simple uh, example. So I'm going to go here to UV editing and when I move from the object mode into the edit mode, now I can see here that I can select each single of these faces, but they are not map mapped correctly. So if I select everything, I can see here that something strange is happening. So I will press A to select all, and I can still see the cube, the original cube, because if you remember, we created this wall starting from a cube. So the, the mapping here, the UV map, it's all messed up. And this will not work again in a video game when you need to save some assets or in general when you need to create a clean UV mapping. Now in video games and in uh, engine like Unity or Unreal Engine, this is really important because this is going to help the uh, lightning to be uh, cooked or baked on the onto the object. So these are they don't have to be overlapped, they need to be well organized and uh, managed inside this square image. Now before we get into that, I just want to show you here the also the um, shader editor. So I want to click and drag this up and uh, go here and move into the shader editor and uh, quickly change the language here in English. Okay, so you can see here that well, the, we didn't apply the mapping, but we mapped the um, material onto the object using the mapping node, which is something similar because we are kind of deciding how to project that um, onto our 3D object. But in this case, we're not going to use this mapping here. We're going to do something different. So I'm going to delete this node. And as soon as I do that, if I go back here to check the material in the shading mode. You can see that everything looks messed up again, so I need to fix it. Now, before we get into that, I just want to explain to you real quick what UV mapping is all about. So basically, what we are trying to do here is we are trying to apply something that is 2D, like an image, onto something in 3D, like an object. So this is the the difficulty of it. We need to figure out the best way to uh, wrap this object using uh, like a packaging. So, well, actually you can use this technique to do packaging for uh, branding and uh, to create a product as well as you create a character or industrial design or whatever. So, and you will find a lot of information as well on the web about UV mapping. So essentially, this is what we're going to do. We're going to try to apply the 2D image onto our object without overlapping any faces. So let's go back here. And the, the first thing I need to do is I need to go back inside the shader and I need to change something here. So I need to change from linear, which will be like a standard mapping to something different. Now, I cannot use cubic because this is not an actual cube and I cannot use any other of these. So I, for, for the first parameter here, I will 
stay on linear. Here you can see that we are using a box right now to map. But this is not what we're going to use. We're going to use a simple plane, which is going to be our image. So I'm going to change this into flat. Now, if you want to do something, something simple, you can use the box. If you have a box or if you have a sphere or, or if you have a tube. If you have something more complex, you need to do the UV mapping yourself. So you're going to use this flat. And also, usually we don't want to repeat uh, an unwrap texture or a map texture. We just want to place it once. So we need to repeat when we have like pavement or something uh, or a wall and we need to and we have a single texture and we want to repeat that. But we also talked about this in a previous video so we're not going to spend time on that. So I'm going to change all the different texture here from box to flat. Okay and now we need to work on the UV map. So I'm going to make this smaller. You can see I'm not using any other node here. I'm just applying the textures and using the flat shade, the flat mapping, sorry. And now I need to work on this. So I will go into edit mode and I will select the phases that I want to fix. So let's fix, for example, a single object here. So I'm going to select all these phases right there of this wall and then I can see here that they don't really look nice. They look like they are in another orientation. So if I right click and I do, and I go right here to UV unwrap, I can start to organize them. So the first thing we could do is a smart UV project. And this is going to create something real quick, you can see here. So this is my wall, but um, I'm seeing this in 2D now. So it's just part of my entire object. So I can select those faces and then move them right here, for example, and then rotate them in the correct orientation. I can also hold control if I want to rotate them a little bit more precise. And uh, then I can move it around so I can place the brick exactly there where, where it starts and then I can also scale them to make them a little bit smaller and again move them around so well this is not an actual unwrap map so this is again a texture that is going to be repeated many many times and uh, we're going to see also what it means to use an unwrap map but this time this is just to fix the the wall problem now, another way we can do that is to select all the other polygons, pressing A, or just going to select and selecting all the polygons. And we can try something else. So if we right click again, we can try the cube projection. Since this object is pretty straight, we can use this cube. It's not similar to a cylinder, so I'm not going to use a cylinder, neither a sphere or I cannot project from the view because it's going to take my camera and project using that camera. So the only thing I can do here is smart UV project. But if I do that, let's check it out. It's going to be like, yeah, this is this is how uh, an unwrap map should look like. But you can see that the bricks are too big because this is, again, a texture that needs to be repeated many, many times. So if I rotate everything, you can see it's going to look strange. So you need to go um, one by one here and fix all the orientation of all the textures. So you can see here that they will never look fine. You need to go one by one or wall by wall. So another way we can do this is right click and use the cube projection. Now the cube projection, you can see that it, it works nice. And it's like using the box mapping in the nodes. So all I need to do now is just scale this until I find the correct proportions. And there you go. So this is one way we can use this. So you can divide textures into two big categories. You can find textures that are good for tiling, which means that they are good to be repeated many, many times. And we already saw that in previous videos. We also saw, talk about the seams and how we can search for and apply seamless tiling so that we cannot see actually the repetition. 
unless you want to create a tile itself. So in that case, you want to see some divisions when you repeat the tile. You want to see the divisions and the seams. But in all the other cases, you don't want to see the seams. So this is one way we can use Texture using the tiling and placing a small tile and then repeat that many, many times in a big surface, like a wall, for example, or the pavement. Now, the other way we can use them is one single application. So, for example, this wall here, well, we cannot repeat this many, many times because we will, we will repeat the same uh, effects here and the, the hole in the wall. So, if you want, you can get this image from the um, Wikimedia. So, just search for example of texture. So, you will find all the data here and you can download it and you can reuse it if you want. So I'm going to use this to make an example of how you can place an image just once without actually using the tiling. And again, we're going to do that with a little bit of UV mapping. Now, the other examples are, for example, if you need to apply a, an actual picture in your scene. So you, you, you cannot repeat this many, many times. You, you will place this just once. And also, for example, if you and this is the, the picture that I got and also for a painting. So if you want to apply a painting, probably you want to place it once. You don't want to repeat it many, many times. And again, like a TV screen, you want to apply a TV screen and you can do this also like an emissive uh, TV screen. And you can also apply not only images in Blender, but you can also apply actual videos. And then you have unwrap texture. So Unwrap textures is another texture that you cannot uh, uh, repeat it many, many times. You're just going to apply it once. And in the unwrap textures, it's a little bit different from the one that we did because everything is going to stay inside the square. So no polygon will be outside the square. Everything will be inside. And the beauty of this is that you can export the UV textures and you can also customize it using Photoshop or GIMP or another uh, photo uh, editing application. So you can do this in a really precise way. You can apply text, graphics, vector graphics, and uh, whatever you want, basically. Whatever you do in Photoshop, you can do it in this uh, UV map. And also, we already talked about three software that are specific for this, which are Substance Painter, Marmoset Toolbag, and the open source Armor Paint. And you will find in the channel an entire video course in Armor Paint. So that's all about unwrapping and creating a specific UV map for your models. And you can use that also again for packaging and create a specific um, graphic design for a particular industrial design object or things like that. So, um, well, yeah, that's an example of packaging. So you can see that here you can create your uh, 2D design and then apply it to 3D objects, which usually are boxes or similar things. Okay, so let's see here in, um, let's go back into Blender. So you can see here where I have 